So here's some work in progress on the DMedia browser. Click on the browser tab. Um, so one thing I want to show off is the performance. So this is roughly 800 video thumbnails, um, and they were just loaded when I hit the tab. So this is being loaded from CouchDB. So it just loaded 800, you know, 800 se separate HTTP requests were made. Um, so you can see it's really nice and smooth. I'm not sure how smooth it's going to seem in the screencast. It's probably going to lose a little bit of the, the effect, but really smooth on my end. Um, and decent sized thumbnails, very, you know, great visual way to navigate through a lot of material. Um, and this is all footage from uh, Lenar Connect and UDS. Um, but the really exciting thing, so I'm just trying to spot some good video, um, is playback. Oops. Should have had the volume muted. <laughs> Anyway, so this is playing um, 1080p video from a, a CAN 60D, as you can see in the metadata. Um, and this is you know, roughly 50 megabit a second video, um, and the playback is flawless. Um, and this is you know, inside a, a user interface that's done entirely with WebKit and HTML5. And how this is possible is GStreamer. Um, so you know, we have a very high-end, full multimedia backend at our disposal, and yet we also have the great flexibility that, um, uh, you know, web tools give you. Um, oops, there's a little, there's a bug right now where if you flip through too many of the videos, it eventually screw up, which I think that's what just happened. But anyway, so very exciting, and we've been extremely happy with our decision to um, use WebKit for the UI and extremely, extremely happy with GStreamer. Um, you know, for, for, for those of you who've worked with HTML5 video in, say, you know, Chrome or Firefox, embedded WebKit GTK is off the charts fast compared to them. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what all the difference is, but, you know, GStreamer is the secret. Um, so, you know, there's no, no performance we're giving up at all by using WebKit to do the, <clears throat> the UI layout. So anyway, lots more to come and thanks for watching.